Welcome back everyone. I have a whopper of a video for you here, but it's news that needs to be exposed. So, buckle up. Here I go. Apparently, a senior vice president of Sony Interactive Entertainment in a George Cassiopo, if I'm pronouncing that right, and really don't care if I am, moving on, was arrested for attempting to lure a 15-year-old for, you know, the, the thing. He was arrested after a YouTuber, or a YouTube channel, by the name of People vs. Preds, called the cops on George, and People vs. Preds posted a video of what appeared to be like a sting operation. I'll leave a link to that video channel below, so that you may see the video for yourself. But, in addition to the video, I also am going to be using articles that help address the situation as well. In this case, I'll be using a Newsweek article regarding the exact same topic. And I quote, The conversations show that Jeff was aware that the boy he thought he was talking to had just turned 15 two weeks ago before asking a series of sexually explicit questions and sending naughty photos of himself. <laughs> oh boy. On this channel, I keep harping on about how the political realm is bleeding into the video game sphere. Well, this is one of those examples. In case you're not paying attention, the Ghislaine Maxwell trial is happening right now. You know, that lady who assisted Jeffrey Epstein procure teens for, I'll call it, dangerously inappropriate activities with them. And just to jog your memories, remember Alison Rapp? There are articles that have captured and saved her previous tweets that can't be in any way misconstrued as anything else other than pro, you know, the thing. Remember that Randy Pitchford USB drive incident? I do. And I'll leave a link to an article that you can review for yourself, in case you've forgotten. Remember the Smash Brothers incident? Again, I'll link an article involving that mess as a friendly reminder that this behavior isn't going away. In fact, it almost appears to be burgeoning. Folks, there is a sickness in our civilization, in our nation, in the, in the world at large, and it needs to stop. Preying upon the young needs to be confronted it needs to be exposed, and we need to be loud about demanding an end to these truly heinous and vile crimes. I wonder how long it will be until a big name is caught in the act. And some people wonder why I boycott Sony for silencing YouTube about The Last of Us 2. Guys, there is far more happening behind the scenes than I think a lot of you may be aware of. I don't mean to sound insulting, that's not my intention, but as the joke states... The only difference between a conspiracy theory and reality is roughly six months. Have fun in jail, George. I'd invest in soap on a rope.